Welcome to Studio One. My name is Peter Mothy, and we're at Flexible Plan Investments today, and I'm going to share with you a couple charts to answer a question that I've gotten multiple times over the recent weeks. The question was, why does it appear that we are slow to get out and slow to get in when market corrections of significance happen? Well, it's not really a matter of slow to get out and slow to get in. When you think about the way that we measure trends, what we do is we try to identify trends as being sustainable, sustainable up and sustainable down, and we try to ignore the noise that happens within those two trends. So, the two charts I'm gonna share with you today are showing you how we try to ignore the news when we have a sustainable uptrend, and therefore ignoring the downtrends, the short-term corrections downward that happen in that period of time. And then I'll show you segments where we have a sustainable downtrend as best as we can measure it, and we ignore some of those rallies that happen during those periods of time. So let's go to the charts. So the first chart we have today ha takes a look at a past period of time. On the left, I've noted this as being zone A. And zone A is a well-established uptrend. And in that uptrend, you can see multiple corrections. I've labeled those one, two, three, and four. Now, those weren't fun, they weren't enjoyable, but they were part and parcel of being invested in a well-established uptrend. Let's take a look at zone B that I've noted on the chart. There are multiple upward corrections, one, two, three, and four, that were significant. And in those significant uptrends, we also tended to ignore those because we were in a well-established downtrend. So how do you distinguish between the two? Well, then we get into zone C in my chart, my first chart, and you'll see that there is a change. One of the many ways that we at Flexible Plan have to distinguish between a well-established uptrend and downtrend is by taking a look at moving averages. One is here, the short-term one is in yellow, and I've just put in a longer-term one in purple, and you can see that if the yellow is above the purple, then the trend is well established. If the yellow is below the purple, the downtrend is well established. And so goes it through time. So let's take a look at the most recent period of time. This is our second chart for the day. So in 2017 and 2018, we had a number of corrections. Those corrections weren't pleasant, as most corrections aren't. But they did not interrupt what we determined was the long-term uptrend. And you can see again here, I've used the same moving averages as an example. And here, you can see in zone A, the yellow moving average, the shorter-term moving average, was above the longer-term moving average. Meaning we should be less sensitive to the corrections and less worried about the corrections in terms of significance. But in the fourth quarter of 2018, things changed. All of a sudden, not only did we have a correction, we have a correction that went beyond the norm that we would expect in an otherwise constructive uptrend. That changed in, in this case, we went to zone B, which is now we become less sensitive to the upward movements. This is the lag that people are seeing. So we don't know whether this upward move uh, off of the December lows of 2018 were meaningful or just another reaction upward until just in the past few weeks we've seen this moving average transition. And once again, this is not really what we use here at Flexible Plan, but it is an example of how we can use measures to identify a trend versus an event. And so in zone C, which we just moved into according to this demonstration, you can see now that now we're back into a period where this appears to be a sustainable longer term uptrend. And during that period of time, you can expect to see strategies go from being defensive to offensive. 
So it's not a matter of being lagging, it's a matter of being uh, in tune with the market environment that is sustainable as we can measure it statistically. And that's our couple minutes here today. I'm Peter Mothy, and we'll be back at Studio One soon.